Let me just tell y'all, I just popped me some popcorn to watch that video again. Amazing, amazing. I know some people just can't understand what a lot of us are feeling watching that. The, the happiness, the joy, the excitement, the victory, um, what it really means, who, who is for and who it speaks to. Wow. You know, I've said this myself to hear someone else say it. I'm like, y'all know what I'm talking about. Being in an incident and being able to defend myself and walk out alive. Um, I was proud of that and grateful. And um, I said that was for everyone who wasn't able to defend themselves, for my ancestors, for people in my mother's generation and beyond that had to step off the sidewalk, couldn't walk through the front door, couldn't, couldn't be a man or a woman had to be subservient. So I get it, you know, and this is what, you know, this is what, um, <laughs> it's what community is, it's what organization is, it's what fuck around and find out is. But really, people are just tired, you know, and, you know, leave us alone. Just stop fucking with us. We got our own shit. We don't need... We, we don't need people coming into our worlds, our ciphers, and being disruptive. We got our own shit to deal with. And we know the advantages that other people have when they do come into our worlds and into our ciphers and pull the stuff they pull, like Karens and these entitled ass boys who fucked around and found out, you know? And for those who are saying, you know, we're uh, celebrating violence, that wasn't violence, that was self-defense. You know, whenever we do something to defend ourselves, it's called violent. You know, we just bow our head and turn the other cheek and, or do what y'all think Martin Luther King would always do um, indefinitely. That's what you expect us to do, but when we do that, it's because we are peaceful people and we do just want peace. We just want to go home and be with our family. We got enough shit that we have to deal with in our own community, in our own worlds, in our own ciphers, than to have to also deal with what seemingly is the undeal with a book. Because it's like these kind of people just get away and get away and get away with the stuff that we could never get away with. So when we see that, the gleam and the joy in our eyes is, you deserved it. You fucked around and found out. And hopefully this is the message. Don't keep coming because it don't get better. It don't get easier. Just leave us the fuck alone. That's all we want. I moved into a community and was harassed by a neighbor who didn't want me there because I was black. Spent his morning, noons, and evenings vandalizing my property, letting it be known. I'd done nothing to this man or to this boy. So I had to get cops involved and detectives involved because if you know you handle it how you think it should be handled, because you know the message would be very clear at that point, then the repercussions may cause you to be separated from your family. But why? What are, why? Why can't you just go live and stop thinking you can bully folks? Nobody is with the shits. And if they are with the shits, you the one that's gonna be shitting. Cause people don't be having time for that. They really just wanna live their lives not be bothered by someone who's mad at me because I'm me. What kind of shit is that? Or you feel like you were entitled because you stole a whole ass country or your, or your forefathers stole a whole ass country. So you can just act up. Yeah, they made some real bogus rules, but we undoing that too. That's why we still here though. You'll never get rid of us. 
One day, maybe you'll thank us. Once you learn the science and respect the science and stop with your wicked ways. But the moral of the story is leave us the fuck alone. We don't bother you and we would appreciate the same respect. Because all we're trying to do is get back home to people who love us. Gracias.